Hi, I'm Mark Horowitz, and this is my very own signature model banjo, the OTMH. This is a cooperative project between Gold Tone Instruments and Neckville Musical Products. Uh, the neck is from Gold Tone, and it is a brand new model of their graphite composite banjo neck. Uh, it has an extra long scoop, so you can really get that harmonic uh, cluck at the 19th fret area. Um, it's got 17 frets clear of the scoop. The frets themselves are uh, Evo Gold fret wire, which is extremely long wearing, about five times the wear of standard nickel silver wire. We have Goto machine heads and an adjustable truss rod, even though, being of an inert material, this neck really never needs adjustment. It's just there in case you want to set the neck up for the amount of relief that suits you. Uh, there are side dots on the neck, of course, for locating. The neck mechanism is very interesting. You can adjust the action of this uh, banjo on the fly due to Neckville's patented flux capacitor. That's right, flux capacitor. This aluminum block here, which is bolted to the Neckville Atlas all wood rim. You'll note that the rim has no bracket shoes or bracket band. It has a wooden flange that's built integral with the rim at a block construction. And this is all American black walnut. Uh, each banjo is numbered in a series. This is number 11 uh, total, and the first one uh, with the brand new neck. What I did was shorten the scale length from 26.4 inches to 25.5 inches. Uh, this had the result of bringing the bridge to the exact center of the head, which makes for great sound, and easier fingering with the frets a little bit close together. And to conclude, the nut and the fifth string pip are made from graph tech material called black tusk, which is self-lubricating. So tuning is a breeze. You won't get hung up and have to pull the string to get the thing in tune. So that's pretty much the physical aspects of the instrument, and I'll give you a little sample of how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 